10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff. where we just eat with our families and we talk about what we're grateful for and it's really fun but hey bigs if you celebrated thanksgiving how did you celebrate did you eat some turkey did you have some pie oh did hey dad speaking of food i oh. brought you a taco <gasps> no way yeah thomas i'm so thankful i love tacos yeah they're great huh this is what I need it right now. Yeah. Well, what? You, whoa, what's in your bag? Oh, I just have five more tacos in here for me. Five tacos? Yeah. Are you sure you need five tacos? You know what, Biggs? Actually, I think I need more. You wait. Five tacos. You do not need more. No, no, I need more. Oh, I can easily eat five tacos. You know, you know what? I'm gonna get even more. I'm gonna get more tacos, like 50 tacos, maybe get like 60 Crunch Wrap Supremes. Maybe get some nachos. Ooh, queso would be good too. I, don't know. I think I need more. Oh, okay. Um. <gasps> Guys, I got the perfect idea. We can make taco lasagna. What? What? I've never heard of that. I'm gonna make it up. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Okay. All righty, Biggs. We are going to make Taco Bell lasagna. You may be asking yourself, Thomas, what do we need? One egg. And a lot of sauce. Queso! Five lots of cheese. Taco Bell. As much spicy sauce as you can get. Tacos, obviously. Quesadillos. And last but not least, crunch. Let's get it. Alright, start off with a layer of the enchilada sauce. Lay down your crunch wrap supreme. Get that layer of queso going. Then obviously on top of the queso, you gotta get your quesaritos. More into a lot of sauce. Those tacos that you know are loco. Last but not least, cheese it up. Now we're gonna bake. Okay, Biggs, but I need y'all to make sure that you don't do this without an adult's supervision. Sounds good? Awesome. Look at that. Oh yeah, Biggs, I knew this is exactly what I needed. I needed more cheese, more <laughs> oh yeah, Biggs. This is exactly what I needed. I needed more quesarito. I needed more chicken, more cheese, more queso, more enchilada sauce. Mm. Mm. More, more of everything is exactly what I needed. Two hours later. Oh, Biggs, that was a really bad idea. 
I had way more than I needed. I should have just been thankful for my five tacos. Uh, Cassidy, you're gonna have to take the video from here. Ugh. Ooh, I hope Thomas's stomach feels better. Oh, Biggs, he just kept wanting more and more. He thought he needed more queso, more tacos, all the things. And you know what? It got me thinking. I have a question for you. Fact or fiction? There are so many things that we need. Like we need a new electric scooter. We need the new Xbox. Or maybe we need the new Nintendo Switch. And it's okay to want those things. But the fact is we already have everything that we need in Jesus. Okay, I know this because in Philippians 4.19, it says, God will use his wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. So what does this verse mean? It means that when we have Jesus as our best friend, he gives us all that we need. Because of what Jesus did on a cross, he died for me and for you so that we could be forgiven and we could live with him forever in heaven. That's all that we could ask for, you guys. And we can be so thankful for everything that we already have and everything Jesus has done. So I want to challenge you this week. There's two ways that we can show our thankfulness. Number one is we can be super generous with our things. Maybe this means that your friend comes over and you share your most favorite toy with them. We can also be generous with our time. This means that maybe your mom or dad had a bad day and you can spend time with them or help them clean around the house. And you know what, Biggs? I'm so thankful that we already have everything we need in Jesus. And it was free. We didn't even have to do anything to get it. But you know what the first step is in, is in accepting this free gift? It's making Jesus our best friend. So if that's you today, you want to accept him into your heart and make him your best friend, I just want you to bow your head. You can even close your eyes, put your hand over your heart, and just repeat this prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I admit that I have made mistakes. But today, I give you my heart. I give you my life. Give me the power to live for you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I am so happy for you and I am celebrating with you.